Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you why GMBs are getting suspended and how to avoid a GMB suspension. So watch this. Guys, this video is dedicated to my brother for life. That's uh, Darren Marion. Brother, I miss you. All right, guys, so let me see if I could explain this real quick. So I'm giving an example, Tom's Tampa Plumbing. He's deciding that he's going to stop working for uh, Joe Rudy's Plumbing, Tampa Plumbing, and he's going to start his own. So he, the first thing he does is he sets up a GMB. He goes to google.com slash business and sets up a GMB because that's what everybody else does. And he puts in all the information, waits for a postcard, gets the postcard, puts the verification number in, and two or three days later or two or three weeks, it gets suspended. Well, let's take a look at what Google sees. The company's name is Tom's Tampa Plumbing. So when you put in for a Google My Business, what Google does is it scours the internet and says, okay, are there any footprints? Uh, uh, does Tom have a website? Does Tom have a Facebook page? Does Tom have the other elements to show that this is a real business? What most people do is they put in for the Google My Business first. And I am telling you, please put in for the Google My Business last, meaning that if you know you're going to set up an office in two or three months, get all the other signals going first and put in for your Google My Business last. Now, a lot of times what Google will do is that when they see all the signals, they'll create a Google My Business without you having to even put one in. So in the next slide, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Hey guys, I hope you liked the first half of this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. I also have a donation link below. Please feel free if it provided any value, either like and subscribe and or if you'd like to donate, the link is below. Watch, watch out for the second half. This is some good stuff. So guys, look at this new improved graph, right? This little flow chart that I made. So... If we go back to the original example, Tom's Tampa Plumbing just created a GMB and it got suspended because what Google did was it looked on the internet and said, hey, do we have any properties that uh, we could associate with Tom's Tampa Plumbing? If the answer is no, well, it's going to get suspended or there's a good chance it's going to get suspended. So what do we want to do? We want to shore up our odds on our side. So what I'd like you to do is that when you're creating a Google My Business is I'd like you to create the Google My Business last. What I'd like you to do is first create a website. Create a real website. Make sure you add your picture on the website somewhere. All right. Preferably, I like to put my picture on my homepage but at least put it on your about us. And if you have a team, people that work with you or for you, they need to have their picture on your website because what Google does is when they do a manual review is they look through the website, they click the about us page or meet the team and they want to see real pictures, not stock pictures. So I would suggest to, you know, just take, uh, just take a picture of each staff member with a short bio and put that on your about us page All right now the next thing you want to do is you want to you want to include search console to your website and google analytics there are a lot of uh, youtube videos on how to do that i don't want this to be a 20 minute video but when you create your website you first need to make sure it's secure you need to make sure that uh, you have your picture, your staff pictures on it. And 
you want to hook up Search Console and you want to hook up uh, Google Analytics to your website. Now, when you create your website, you're going to create what's called a sitemap. Once again, there are videos on how to create a sitemap. And that sitemap you submit to Search Console. Search Console goes through your sitemap, it spiders through your sitemap, checks all your pages, and boom, you're good, right? In a couple of days, your pages will be indexed on Google. During that time, I need you to set up a Yelp page. The reason why you set up a Yelp page is because Yelp does phone verification. So when you set up your Yelp page, Yelp is actually going to call you to verify that that's a real business. That is a strong signal to Google. Now, I know people who get their GMB verified without using Yelp. This is the way that I do it. So I'm just, you know, being transparent and let you know this is everything I do. So the first thing that I do is you make sure you create your website, uh, include Search Console and Google Analytics. While you're doing that, create your Yelp page. There's also a website called About.me. Set that up as well. Include your domain name in that, in that website. Then you want to set up your social media. Set up a Facebook page about Tom's Tampa Plumbing or whatever your business is and a Twitter page. When you do those two things, put out at least 15 posts on your social media. Put out 15 Facebook posts, 15 tweets, get the ball rolling. Show that you're a real business. You could do it on the first day, you could do it throughout the week, but get something posted on your account and also add your team's pictures. Okay. The next thing you want to do is create a YouTube channel. And you don't necessarily have to uh, talk on your YouTube channel, though it would be great if you did a video like, like what I do, just like, hey, my name is uh, Tom and I created Tom's Tampa Plumbing for people who, uh, you know, don't know how to do their own plumbing. You know, whatever you can say, show a couple of pictures of your office and um, what you could do is you could just send that file over to Fiverr and somebody on Fiverr will create the video if you don't know how to do that. It's okay. All right. But what you want to do is when you create that YouTube channel, you make sure you add your name, address, and phone number in the description box below the video. Right? So you create the video. You talk about your plumbing company, and then you say Tom's Tampa Plumbing could be located at 1010 Main Street, Tampa, Florida, 33781. Suite 203, if you have a suite number, right? So you want to make sure that when you create this YouTube video, when you create your Facebook, your Twitter, include your nap on all the posts. Include your nap, your name, address, and phone number. Create an article and add your NAP, your name, address, and phone number to your Facebook, your Twitter, and your YouTube posts. Great. That's done. Go over to Fiverr, type in Google News, and find somebody who will do some Google News articles on your website. So once again, get about 15 Google News articles, speak about different aspects of your business, you could get a writer on Fiverr as well. And, and what you could do is you want to get some Google News published on your website before you put in for your GMB. Lastly, a good idea, and once again, you could do it on Fiverr, is get a press release. Shoot out a press release that you're opening a brand new business. And if you cater to the handicap or... If you cater to uh, a portion of your 
profits go to breast cancer. That is a great story to have pushed out to press release. The next thing that I didn't include is you want to start creating user signals. What do I mean by that? At that location, 1010 Main Street, Tampa, Florida, do a food drive, do a COVID uh, blanket giveaway, do something where you add your address, you put it on Craigslist or Facebook that you're giving, a, you're doing a donation for people to come by. What are we trying to do? We're trying to show that people are, are putting in their Google Maps your address and people are driving to you. Right. So on a Saturday, do like a blanket drive or do something for COVID or do some type of giveaway or do a run, something where people have to put in the address and drive to you. Google tracks those signals of people coming to you. Now, another thing that you want to do is you want to get reviews, get some Facebook reviews. And I know the Yelp reviews don't stick unless they're bad, but try to get some Yelp reviews as well. There's a section on Yelp that shows you your friends on Facebook that also use Yelp. So you could reach out to them and ask them to give you a Yelp review. Right. So you want to get reviews. You want to get user signals, people driving to you. You want to get pictures of your staff. You want to have your website created. You want to create real signals that this is your business. And then you put in your for your GMB. Right. Do not put in for your GMB first. There's nothing on the Internet that's talking about your business. You must create a buzz prior to putting in your GMB. Guys, I really hope that helped. Uh, my name is Brett from uh, Mindsaw. Like I would say in all my videos, please make sure you take care of your family. Make sure you kiss your wife. You show appreciation while you're able to listen to these videos is because everybody in your house is doing what they need to be doing and they're running the house correctly. If you're fortunate enough to be living with, fortunate enough to be living with somebody, walk over, give that person a kiss. Tell them that you appreciate them. Take out the garbage, walk the dog, right? Clean behind the couch, all those little things. All those little things, right? So it, it's real important. So guys, until tomorrow, I hope this lesson helped. If you this lesson provided any value to you, please um, like and subscribe my channel. I also have a donation link below if you'd like to donate. If this helped you, please feel free and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, guys.